G'day fellas, today I'm going to tell you how to use Drongo's config generator. What it allows you to do is basically put down units in the editor and then use edit loadout to give them whatever gear you want them to have and then place a module and generate the config.cpp for the faction. So it has to be done in two parts, first of all will be units and vehicles and then after that once they're compiled, then you can make groups. But uh, before we get started, I'd like to say thank you to WW3andMe for the idea behind this, the concept and a lot of the testing for it. Uh, it's a very good idea. And also thank you to Pennyworth, the guy who made the DLL, which allows uh, to write to an external text file. So, as you can see here, I've put down some units. I want to make an Islamic fighter faction uh, just using uh, vanilla Bohemia stuff. So I actually put down CSAT units. Now the base unit that you use will affect the face, language and names that are used. So if I had have used, for example, NATO as the base unit, then they would all be speaking American English and using those faces. But because I want them to be an Islamic fighter theme faction, I've used CSAT as the base. And again, it's just, for example, edit loadout and your typical arsenal setup. So once you've edited the loadout of each unit, then you need to double click on them and give them the display name that you want in the variable name. So I want this bloke to be a squad leader. I can't use spaces here. We try that here. It'll give us an error. So we have to use underscores. But when my system writes that to the file, it'll change all of these underscores to spaces. So that's fine. Now, if you want vehicles to be used by the faction, they must be empty. You can't have them crude. And again, it's the same thing. We want to this uh, vehicle will be called a technical HMG, so we put that in the variable name. To decide which units get used as crew for vehicles, say I want this crewman to be the crew for the tank, then we need to set his rank to captain for armor, lieutenant will be general crew, uh, major will be helicopter pilots, and colonel will be fixed wing pilots. So we've done all that, and then if we go to Drongo's Config Generator Faction, which I've placed one of these here, excuse me, then I'm going to use the tag DIF, Drongo's Islamic Fighters, your mod name, Islamic Fighters, outside, resistance, generate weapons, generally leave this to true. If you know, if you know your way around configs, you can set this to false, but for most people, just leave it to true. And then we click Play Scenario. Okay, there's a bit of debug text here. And then you can see in the upper right hand corner, in our armor 3 directory, it's created this file, dif underscore faction underscore config.cpp. Now what you need to do is rename that file to config.cpp and use armor tools to compile that into a PBO. I'm not going to talk about how to use armor tools here. There are other tutorials and other places to do that. So what I'm going to do is stop the video and compile that and restart armor with that PBO installed. Okay guys, so I've installed the PBO which I compiled. Let's have a look here, and Islamic Fighters. So let's build our groups. Let's make a fire team. Get a close look at them. Uh, riflemen. Okay, so then we click on the group here and change the call sign. So we want to change this to, for example, fire team. Here, or it could be, you know, rifle squad. We can use spaces here, but we're going to call them fire team. Now, if we wanted these guys to be special forces, uh, 
turn up under this tab here, then we would set the group leader's rank to Colonel for Special Forces or for Support Infantry, you'd set him to Major. Anything else will just show up under Infantry. So we've made an Infantry group there. Now let's make uh, a group with a vehicle and some dismounts. So put some riflemen and AT dudes here. And we'll call this a motor squad. Now you can have groups show up under armor, mechanized infantry, and motorized infantry. So we want these blokes to show up under motorized infantry. So we need to get the group leader here and set his rank. So Colonel will be armor, major will be mechanized, and anything else for vehicles will show up under motorized. So let's put some tanks down too. And call them a slammer section. Need to find the group leader here and set him to colonel. Next place down a generate groups and we need to use the same tag and mod name and side. Drum goes Islamic fighters, Islamic Islamic fighters, resistance, and then press play. So you need to edit the uh, edit the original config.cpp with your units and vehicles in it. Append to the end of that file the contents of dif underscore groups underscore config.cpp. Essentially, you append the groups to the end of the factions file. And there's a little bit of text in the file telling you where to paste it, but essentially it's the very end. So again, I'm going to quit armor and export the groups into the factions config.cpp and compile that and start armor again. So here we are guys, I've uh, compiled the factions combined with the groups and installed that mod and let's see how they turned out. So Islamic fighters, armored, slammer section. That looks right. Infantry, fire team. That looks right. And motorized. It's our motor squad. And that looks right. So, there you go. Pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, do read the readme. There's some. Uh, it just goes through what I've already explained here. And once again, thank you very much to WW3 and me for coming up with the idea for this system and doing all the testing for it. And have fun, lads. Bye.